I S U P K. and Officer Elias Shah uh, of the ISUPK and the Commander Jenny Hanna. And I'm with the brother. Jerome Phillips. Jerome Phillips. All right, so um, we wanted to ask a couple of questions on New Year's. Like we often go around, we always down here in this area and we go and ask like uh, people about, you know, the holidays and things like that of that nature. So I always ask first, like, um, what's your religious beliefs, if you have any? Baptist. Baptist. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you a Christian? Yep. All right. So you did you learn about the New Year's from like the church or where did you learn about the holidays in a, or the New Year's to be specific? Well, you know, growing up school, they pretty much instilled what they thought it's supposed to be. It didn't take the, long for us to figure out that that wasn't how it is for real. For real. Uh, okay. So you don't believe the New Year's is January 1st? Well, I mean, I don't believe one way or another. You said you don't or you do? I mean, like in between. In I between? I know that what they represent is a lot of falsehood. So. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. A, a lot of uh, what I would say is paganism. Pagan. You know what I mean? Pagan right, beliefs. Right, right, All right. So with that being said, are you going to celebrate the New Year's coming January 1st? No. Nothing special. Nothing special? Mm -hmm. I mean, usually we sleep through it most of the time. <laughs> so, I, mean, you know, I give you a hand of that. It ain't nothing know. to even really be celebrating. Right. But as far as the church is concerned, you say you grew up in a Baptist. What about well, them? what they do is uh, they just lock themselves in. They do something like, they call it lockout, lock in or something like that. Yeah, I heard of and, them lock in. Yeah, they spend the night in church. Uh-huh. But I don't uh, participate in that. You don't so. participate in that? So do you believe as far as like the church you know what I'm saying, uh, like church, Baptist church, or any type of church. Do you think with the pagan beliefs that you notice and you picked up, why doesn't the church teach against the paganism on January 1st, in your, in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, they got to stick with the old school routines and, you know, they're not really ready for uh, the new truth, you know. The new truth? Right. But, Which is the oh, reality of uh, every situation it's more political you know what i'm saying because every church they try to be like the other church and you know politics as usual you know but you know as far as like the church would you agree that the church is supposed to be like a staple in the community to push the truth be. yeah and to be. show us how to live our lives accordingly naturally it should be so with That's that just like politicians uh -huh. they're supposed to do right and look out for the people but it, it, like i say it's politics it's all over again so why, with, with that being said, why do we continue to go to church for leadership or for answers when they not, they don't have well, any integrity? you say we, I don't go to church for well, answers. Well, I'm just speaking of, well, I'll give you a hand for that. Yeah. i give you a hand for that. But I'm just saying as far as black either. people. Yeah, well, we I mean, sure because don't. that's all they know, and it's just a tradition. It's how they was raised. Okay, so, so can I ask you another question? I mean, so would it be safe to still call you a Baptist because you say you was a Baptist? Well, that's when we how I was up. raised. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you still Baptist? I mean, if I had to pick and choose, that's what I would say. Uh huh. I'm not Muslim. I'm not. I mean, I'm you believe not, in the Bible? I believe in God. Right. And then churches. Here's the church right here. Uh huh. So what I believe in, I follow my beliefs. And my feelings, and that's how I live my life. Okay. Try to do right, more right than wrong. Well, I would say I'm like not perfect. Well, I would say like, according to the Bible, like 
you know like I know. You can't find Christmas in there. You can't find New Year's in there, the celebration of Janice. Oh, uh, you no, can't I mean, find any of these pagan right, It's right. all false stuff. So right. you can't find that anywhere in the Bible. But the church, what they do is say that you could be a Christian and you could celebrate all these pagan holidays and you can still love the Most High God. When in fact, in the Bible, it tells you that he hates these days. He's <coughs> against these days. And it sounds like you would agree like how we would agree that the church is doing more harm for so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. It's doing more harm in the communities than good. Well, I mean, when you're in a situation where, like the world, you got to believe in something. And if that's all you know, then you're going to do your all until you find out something different or better. So you're not born like we are now. You're born being taught by your parents, and they try to bring you through the church. Like I said, it's just tradition. Mm -hmm. And most people, they don't have the knowledge of, you know, they got they just straight shoot. You know, what they see, they're shooting straight. They don't expand their knowledge and they live and die by what they was taught and that's i mean it starts I mean, at yeah. home if you taught that at home i don't know how you was raised you asking me uh -huh. but you wasn't raised how you are now i'm pretty right. sure no nah, for sure yeah and that's yeah, what, i was raised my me myself personally i was raised um as a catholic as a so-called what they would consider catholic right but look at you now right See but thanks saying? to the you know the icpk but that's mm -hmm. the organization we represent the icpk under Commander General Yohanan, and that's the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge, mm -hmm. because what we teach is the truth according to the Bible, that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are God's chosen people. And he gave his chosen people their own way of life and how to live and conduct themselves. And there's nothing that we do that <coughs> the Christian church does, or vice versa. The Christian church doesn't do anything that the Bible says. They say that they, you know, uh, they believe in the Most High God, but they don't teach us how to live our lives like the Most High God will want us to live our life. So that's what we go out here. Uh, we go out and teach on Saturdays over there on Thirty First and Prospect. Well, we do these interviews. The no, nah, we no, we, we for sure. Noise. No, we for okay. sure. They just another. They Christians too. Making noise. Yeah, they just make noise. <laughs> yeah. They do the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they, noise. they do the same thing. They Christians too. Well, you know, it's people that look at y'all the same way too. So you know, it's just a matter of choice and which you choose to believe. Because what y'all saying, if a person chooses not to believe it, we right back at square one. Yeah, you know, I mean, and that's say, why we do these interviews, and that's why we go and teach. You understand? I mean, just like when Christ was walking around the earth at the time that he was walking around the earth, very few people believe he only had 12 disciples. You understand? He only had 12 disciples that was following him and understood that, you know, his mission until it was complete. You know what I mean? And then it started building from there. So since 1969, our organization or our school has been doing the same exact thing. How old are you? Me? I'm mm -hmm. 40. So since 1969, our organization has been doing the same thing, trying to gather us together and follow the Most High God and follow our King Christ. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's going to be myself. steps. I don't, I don't have a closed mind about anything. Oh, yeah. I and, don't think you do. Well, I don't. I mean, yeah, I don't simple think you as do. that because, you know, I'm 63. Uh -huh. So I didn't seen a lot. I didn't heard a lot. And I don't follow anybody. I follow myself and my feelings, my thoughts. You know, I try to do right, like I said, but we all do a little wrong. We try to do more right than wrong. Right. As far as what I believe in, I believe in right, righteousness okay. is what I believe in. Okay. You know. And you know, the Bible says that like, you know, as far as like us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, it says that we have a zeal for the most high God, but not according to knowledge. In order to know how to live, how the most high God wants us to live, you have to follow men that follow the most high God. That's how it's always been set up, even in biblical days. Christ, our king, you know, who would say Jesus, he was a man, he walked the earth. Other men had to follow him in order to learn how to live like him in order to serve God. And that's what we teach. And that's what we're missing a lot of times in the black, Hispanic and native Indian community. Well, I mean, I feel you and I agree with you, but yeah. well, I didn't have to Christ. go, I didn't have to go where y'all go to feel this way. You know, to know what I know and to live the way I live. So, yeah. Fortunately, I agree with a lot you're saying. Yeah. But I don't choose to follow you. That's right. just my choice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I believe in what you're saying. This is true. But 
That's why I don't even go to church for the same reason because everybody's talking. <laughs> you know. And then look, if I may, before we cut this interview, I would say that the reason a lot of us think like that, the way that you're thinking, is because of the Christian church. Mm -hmm. That's why we think like that, because they in the church preaching and teaching and saying, talking around in circles. Yeah, talking around. Man. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, we don't want to even go all <laughs> we, don't, we only want to go You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I mean, money makes the world go around. There you go. So, so we've been sitting in that church our whole lives, and if any brother, especially young black men, you know, it's, it's hard been hard get, for us to, to sit get, in there. It's hard to get them, though, to listen. But it's Let even harder follow. for them to even, I mean, but think about it. Why wouldn't we go out here and do the things that we that we do in the streets? When T.D. Jakes is your leader. When you got leaders like T.D. Jakes, Dr. Prep King, Low Dollar and Dr. Al King, Sharpton, Al right. Sharpton, you got all these cats who aren't teaching the truth no. and then they have no solutions to the problem. So if they don't have any solutions to the problems that we're facing, like what's the point of going to church? They're going there and sing and uh dance and bang on tambourines which the masculinity that, that's in us us just being hardcore <laughs> brothers we're not drawn towards that you we're going to go work. out in the street we're going to go out in the street right. and do and something like that you, say, you, run up you know make some noise and you have a conversation with somebody they'll surprise you with what they say and you'll be like you know you can learn from everybody you talk to every conversation you know you listen to them if you're listening yeah. and then they're going to say something and then it's going to be bam and I mean, they're not a leader. They're not a church member or nothing like that. That's just what they've been through in life. So you basically saying like, how the Christian church, they be the first ones to say, don't judge nobody. But when you go in there, what are they doing? Without a doubt. So we but already- that ain't not even just the Christian church though. It's just the people, they judge like they, the creator or something like that. And that's right. just the wrong one, well, the wrong things with the world. It's nothing wrong with judging in the sense to where you're making better decisions or you're trying to guide somebody into the path or the direction well, who are you that's to going judge to help me. But when it comes to who judging, who am I to judge you? But when it comes to judging, you understand it's like I can't condemn you to death or I can't condemn you to do any type of <laughs> harm. But in the judgment where it gets lost inside of the Christian churches because. The Christian church is full of hypocrites like T.D. Jakes. The world is full of hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? I don't know y'all. Right. But you I was going to say in this organization, what you'll find out, like if you was ever come to any of our high holy days and talking and thinking well, while we on the subject, the Passover, the Lord's Passover, we're celebrating in Durham, North Carolina, April the 20th. You understand? Mm -hmm. This would be the 55th annual Passover. We're supposed to be celebrating Passover and not Janice or right, New Year's right. or Christmas or Thanksgiving or, or birthdays or any of those type of things. But if you was to come like to the Passover, you was to come to class, if you was to just come around brothers and sisters, you would see that men in here, we live up to our word. We live up to the oath. We live by the standards of the Bible. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you won't go, you're not going to find that in no church that you go to in well, Kansas you City. Know. You, just, like, you don't know. You ain't been to a mall. I, I, so I, I, I can say that with confidence. I can't say that well, with confidence. I can't confidence. judge a mall. That's just like I can't judge y'all yeah. for what y'all saying or right. whatever. But I'm saying me personally, I, got a good opinion I can speak on, I, I, I'm confident to say that because when you understand the religion or the religious aspects that come up out of the Christian church, you understand that it all has, it all comes from the same right. foundation. But it's interpreted differently. It's in, it may be interpreted different. Like you have the Jehovah Witness. They don't celebrate uh, holidays. You have the Baptists. They believe in, is the, do the Baptists but speak in tongues? Pentecostal. Pentecostals. Pentecostals. And you got Mormons. Yeah. Then you got all these other ones. They have different interpretations in different aspects. But yep. when it comes to the Gotta religion itself, short. Well, it all comes from the same now. foundation. Damn right, brother. And, uh, <laughs> Damn right. Damn right I like that word y'all giving it's okay. all good. Most yeah, time yeah, Christ. Yeah. It didn't waste my time, so that was cool. No, no, time, no, we appreciate you. time is a waste of time when somebody <laughs> stop you, you hear the same you. old, you know what I'm saying? So y'all got a good point of view and I you know I appreciate, appreciate not you. wasting my time. Oh uh, most time right. Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, same here. Same here, brother. Damn Keep right. on pushing. You Damn too. Right, right. You too. Shalom. Shalom. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope 
Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord 